Hi guys, today we're going to go through the Suva equations of motion. Uh, I'm going to go through all four equations, just pointing out certain things, and then we're going to use those equations to try and solve some problems. Okay, so here they all are. So we've got V equals U plus AT, S equals U plus V over 2T, V squared plus U squared equals 2AS, and S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So what do these uh, different terms mean? Well, V always stands for the final velocity. Uh, U is the initial velocity. Uh, acceleration is, uh, sorry, A is acceleration. And then finally we've got uh, T for time. And then S here, uh, S is for uh, displacement. Uh, but you could argue that you could call it distance. Okay, so here's our first problem. A car moving at a velocity of 25 meters per second accelerates at a rate of 6 meters per second squared. Find its velocity after 3 seconds. So, the, the way I would always try and solve these problems, I'd write S, U, V, A, and T. And I'd have a look, what, what do I know? So, I've got the car's moving at a velocity of 25 meters per second. Well, that's the initial velocity. Uh, we know it accelerates here uh, at a rate of six meters per second squared. And we wanna find out its final velocity. So this is what we're looking for after a time of three seconds. So we've got uh, U, V, A, T. They're all part of this little uh, problem. So we're going to use one of the equations of motion that I've got all of them in. And that equation is V equals U plus AT. So let's just uh, uh, put the numbers in. So U was 25. And then A uh, was 6 times by the time, which is 3 seconds. So let's just put this in our calculator. So 6 times by 3 gives us 18 plus the original 25. The final velocity is 43 meters per second. And that's our final answer. Okay, next up. A motorbike is traveling with a velocity of 3 meters per second. It accelerates at a rate of 9.3 meters per second. Well, I think that should be squared there. I'll just put it in. For 1.3 seconds. Calculate the distance it travels in this time. So we've got uh, S, U, V, A, and T. We want to know the distance traveled, so I'm going to put a question mark there. The initial velocity we know is 3 meters per second. Final velocity, well, we don't know anything about it. The acceleration is 9.3 meters per second squared, and then the time that it takes is 1.8 seconds. So we need an equation that's got S, U, A, and T. Well, I think we're going to use S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. So let's go ahead and put the numbers in. So we've got 3 times by uh, 1.8 plus a half times uh, 9.3 times by 1.8 squared. And after putting that in my calculator, I get a distance of 20.5 meters. An aircraft is traveling along a runway at a velocity of 25 meters per second. It accelerates at a rate of four meters per second squared for a distance of 750 meters before takeoff. Calculate the takeoff speed. Okay, so again, S, U, V, A, and T. Okay, what do we know? We know the distance traveled is 750 meters. The uh, initial velocity was 25 meters per second. Uh, the final velocity, we don't know. The acceleration is four meters per second squared. 
Um, what else do we know? What are we trying to find out? We're trying to find out, calculate its takeoff speed, so we're trying to find this. So, let's use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So, u squared is 25 squared plus 2 times by 4 times by 750. Uh, and I find that v squared uh, is equal to 6,625. And then v is going to be the root of uh, 6,625. Uh, let's have a look. What is that? And I get uh, 81 uh, point nine meters per second. A car accelerates at a rate of uh, 10 meters per second squared uh, for a time of four seconds. It reaches a speed of 52 meters per second. Calculate its initial speed. So S, U, V, A, and T. Uh, we know the acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. The time is four seconds. It reaches a speed, so that's its final velocity of 52 meters per second. We want to know what was the initial speed. So V equals U plus AT, but we want to find out U, so let's rearrange the equation. So V minus AT equals U. So let's put the numbers in. 52 minus uh, 10 uh, times by 4 equals U. So 52 minus 40 equals U. 52 minus 40 is 12. So therefore, that's our final answer. Uh, that's U. Uh, so we can say U equals 12 meters per second. A Falcon is driving at a speed of 30 meters per second. It accelerates at a rate of 40 meters per second squared and reaches a speed of 100 meters per second. Calculate the distance traveled during the acceleration. So again, let's have a look. What do we know? S, U, V, A, and T. So we want to calculate the distance traveled. We know the acceleration was 40 meters per second squared. The time that it took, okay, we don't know that, but we now we know the initial speed is 30 meters per second. The final speed uh, is 100 meters per second. So we need an equation with S, U, V, A, and T, uh, S, U, V, and A in it, sorry. So we could use V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. And by rearranging this, if we get v squared minus u squared divided by 2a, we're going to find out s. So let's go ahead and put some numbers in. So we've got 100 squared minus uh, 30 squared divided by 2 times by 40. This is going to tell us the distance travelled. And I get an answer of 113 uh, 0.75 meters. A stone is thrown vertically upwards. It decelerates at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. It reaches its greatest height of 16.53 meters. Calculate the initial speed. So S, U, V, A, and T. S is 16.53 meters. Now, the final velocity is actually zero when it reaches the very top. Instantaneously, it's not moving. We want to find the uh, initial velocity. And it's going upwards, and it's decelerating. So that's a key word, decelerating, meaning our acceleration is negative. Okay, so we've got S, U, V, and A. So again, let's apply v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And we want to find out what's the initial speed. So we're going to do v squared minus 2as is going to be u squared. We'll work out everything on the left, then we'll do the square root. So v squared, well that's 0, okay, minus uh, 2 times... Uh, 
uh, by, okay, it's a negative, so minus 9.8 times by our distance, 16.53. That's all going to equal u squared. We're going to answer of uh, 3 uh, to 3.98. Uh, now, if we square root all this, so 3 to 3. 0.98 all square rooted we're going to get u and we get an answer of well it's uh, 18 meters per second okay and finally if you found this video useful don't forget to subscribe thanks so much for watching bye now